Where are we headed by 2100 with regards to climate change if we carry on with the present trajectory? Um, yeah, so the news on that is not good. Uh, according to the last IPCC report, which comes out periodically, uh, our current trajectory is for about 3.2 degrees of global warming by the end of the century, above pre-industrial temperatures. Now that's actually, I mean, it sounds maybe not so bad, but it's actually a really devastating trajectory. So if you look at the science that's reviewed by the IPCC, looking at temperature thresholds like that, you're looking at you know, 30 to 50% 50, 50 of species going extinct at three degrees. You're looking at, um, you know, uh, 1.5 billion people displaced from their current homes. Uh, you're looking at multi-breadbasket failures, meaning potentially food shortages in several parts of the world at the same time. It makes it more difficult to kind of cover it with redistribution and so on. So famine is more likely. Um, I mean, of course, to some extent, you know, adaptation can mitigate some of this, but, uh, but the future looks fairly bleak on our current trajectory. It's, it's really not a future we want to aim for. Mm. So you're saying it's, th you're saying it's 3.2 by the end of, of this century. Yeah. To be clear, we're already, what, 1.2 degrees warmer than we were? 1.2 or 1.3, yeah. Than the, the mid-19th century. That's correct. Early 19th yeah. century, yeah. yeah. So, and already you can see that, you know, the effects of even just that are really devastating. Uh, um, just, just look around you and look at, I mean, the, the kinds of impacts that especially hit the global south, but the scale of the heat waves, uh, you know, impact on crops, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, this is not... Uh, this is not easy even at this level. Um, and so, you know, if you imagine, uh, you know, significantly higher than that is going to be disastrous. Uh, it's, it's really not a world we want to inhabit. In fact, you, you, have, you have some climate scientists like Kevin Anderson, one of the UK's most prominent climate scientists, uh, who routinely says that three, that three degrees is, is actually not compatible with organized human civilization as we know it. Now, that doesn't mean that there's going to be mass death. I think that's an unlikely scenario. But um, it does mean that like a lot of the things that we take for granted about the organization of society today would not be feasible in such a world. So it's, it's kind of a different planet. Like hu humans have not lived on such a planet before. Mm. And so that's really not, again, it's not a future we want to accept. And it is, um, I mean, the main message that comes through all of the IPCC reports is we have to do everything possible to limit global warming uh, as much as possible, right? Making every effort for 1.5 degrees um, and you know, and well below two degrees uh, if 1.5 is not feasible. So every fraction of a degree really counts.